God is good and all the time. So if we listen carefully to the first reading and the gospel, it gives the perspective of today's theme that the church would want us to reflect on. And one will say it comes to us as priests, you know, to be sure that we put into practice what we preach, what we say, so that there is, there must be a correlation, as they will say, between theory and practice. What you preach about and what must be done. And by extension, we are all priests by virtue of our baptism. We are all leaders in one way or the other. Someone is watching you. Someone is aspiring to be like you. Are we able to put into practice the more what we preach, what we put on our status? <laughs> the, the, the wise sayings you put on your status. Are you trying your best to put it into practice? The things you put on social media, um, mention them. Are you ready to put them into practice? What you tell your subordinates in the office, are you ready yourself? Are you ready to put into practice? What I preach as a priest, as Father Kuju, am I ready to put into practice? And that is what Jesus is saying. And that was the norm at the time. The, the priest would, would preach, they would say things. But there was a disconnect in what they were preaching and in what they were doing. And the Pharisees and scribes today, quote unquote, are attacked by Jesus for this particular character. They put burdens. They tie up burdens. Christ said, eh? don't do this, don't do that. Don't. They themselves... They will do nothing. Have you tied a burden for your wife? Have you tied a burden for your husband? Have you tied a burden for your children? Have you even tied a burden for your parents? It's possible. Are we ready to lift a finger to help? To help somebody? To smile? To hug? To, to, to give genuine love? People don't, don't, don't experience love nowadays. As a leader, quote-unquote, can you exhibit love? It may look simple, but I tell you, this world needs love than ever before. The last point for us to reflect on, for me, is from the last statement of the gospel. And I believe I have preached on that before. Whoever exalts himself, be humbled and whoever humbles himself will be exalted in this world where arrogance pride self-accomplishment name them has become the order of the day why not you are intelligent. It is by God's gift. You have a summa cum laude, a first class. By God, second class, I mention them. You have gone to an Ivy League university, a prestigious university outside the country. You did well. God's gift. You have, you have attained the fullness. You maybe have reached self-actualization. Oh, that should help you understand that God has made you who you are. But you see, the world itself, as we have it, sends a hegemon, a kind of idea, into our minds that we have done it. Yes, you, you, you are the measure of all things. Why are you giving everything to God? Why? You? Be careful. My dear brother, my dear sister, my dear parent, when you were born, you had no idea whether a midwife <laughs> put you out of your mom, whether it was a doctor, and you don't know. You had no idea. You could have just died by negligence. I'm telling you. 
Look at the children. You have to bath them. One woman whose son said, I mean, have issues with her because she says, he says that somebody has told him she's a witch. The, the woman could, could weep. He said, Father, this particular child, the way I suffered when I was giving birth to him, hey, my father may pray. Hey, afternoon, I suffered out of the tree. I he was the one I suffered most. If I was a witch, I would have, I would have devoted him earlier. Not now. How would I waste money? When my husband died, I still took care of him. He has, he, he has arrived. Remember, whatever you have is from God. Look at how you begin life. And when you end life, as two of us, my, myself and another priest, on Tuesday, uh, Father Badu will be, will be buried, the late Father Badu. And we're saying, hey, I mean, we're talking about death. <laughs> death. I said, wow. Even the person coming to, you know, do the undertaking, you know, to dress him up. Father Badu know the person. No. If today I die, the one who put, put on my chasuble and there's no priest who does that. <laughs> so obviously it will be what? Someone. Even if you are sent to transition, some of you have policies. When you die, they should send it, we will send you. <laughs> we will send you when you die. Or Lashibi. Or wherever. The one who will be put you in the mug. Do you know the person? Do you know the person? The one who will take off your dress. Cut. They take you the scissors. They throw it away. You don't know. You die, the old woman in your family will come and bath you. <laughs> Nowadays, even the old women, they don't have time. One man died. I said, oh, wouldn't they? The family, there was division. Some said they should bring the body home and, you know, wash him up. And uh, they say, hey, 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 we don't do that. Nowadays, we are modern people. <laughs> we don't bring bodies to the house. And as a priest, he said, Father, then you have to come in the morning. The body will be brought from the mortuary. I said, okay. Then we will put him in the house. Said, oh, no, 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 no. It will be in the house. They'll just, at the gate, it will enter and you pray for it. And then we take it to the church. Whoever exalts himself will be humbled. But whoever humbles himself, the point is that this world, if you have sat down to reflect on life, and when I see an older person <laughs> behaving strangely, I wonder, because you, with all respect, you have gone through life. For us, we are still young. But you have seen the futility in life. I'm telling you, all that we have, the sentimental attach attachments we have to houses, hey, you will die, your children will come, they will sell the house. They don't even know the value. One man, he said, Father, I'm staying in this house till I die. He said, why? Very rich man. He says at Mapu Leave, at Timothy, he says, this is the house I, I, I built when I came to Accra. So although I'm rich, I have all the money for it, I said, well, I, I, I want to stay here. He says, about that, that you sell the house. <laughs> so, Father, I know that when I die today, tomorrow they'll sell this house. Yes. I'm telling you, that is the world. And that is why when you think about life, it should what? Humble you. Whatever you are, whatever money you, I don't know the money you have in your account. <laughs> I don't know the number of houses you have in Accra, wherever. But the point is that no matter your degrees, your titles, whether you are very Reverend Father Kujo or Archbishop Kujo or Pope Ju, hey, you will die. And that is why the most important thing in life is for you to be reflective and be humble. Being humble does not mean you are stupid. So you see people doing the wrong thing. You say, oh, I'm humble. Maybe I'm humble. I don't know. That is not it. But you being conscious of what you do, making sure that you do the right thing, you follow the right path. And that whatever you have, who you have become, whatever you be in the future, Whatever you have been in the past, it is by the power of God. And that is why St. Louis, 
on his deathbed will tell his son be careful not to sin against God with the very gifts he has given you is this the look at how beautiful you are and imagine you are sinning against God because of your, of your what? of your beauty do you, do you get it? you are beautiful, you are nice, you are intelligent so ladies come to you, your coursework and your coursemates they come for you, and you are using that to do all sorts of things you have been blessed you know, with prosperity, you have money why can't you help people? you go outside the country people who don't believe in God they have foundations they give scholarships to Africans we go and study and come back and we are happy we went to Norway, we went to America we went... people who don't believe in God they give scholarships so if you are rich and a young girl has come to you in humility a young boy has come to you if you have, why can't you genuinely give and help the person why? But why do you want to use that to exploit? To, to grow in arrogance, to grow in pride, to destroy, to distort. You have had a position in the country. Why can't you use that to promote, to change Ghana? To make Ghana a better place. But many a time, the gifts we have, you have the, the gift of the priesthood. How am I using the priesthood to change lives? Am I using that to, 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 to destroy people, to destroy marriages, to destroy lives? Then there's a problem. So I beg you, let us take note of this. And all this rooted in humility. If you understand humus, humus, then we will go back. And as Catholics, we shouldn't forget this. Every year, at least every year, once, on which day? Ash Wednesday, right? You are dust. You are dust. For nothing at all. You are reminded every year that one day, you see these faces. Some of us, when we even die, our children will not bring our pictures. I'm telling you, they won't come. They don't have time. I'm telling you. So today, live your life in a sincere mood. So that one day, when you are not here on earth, you know that your legacy is living in the hearts of people. Sometimes those who will remember you are not even your own children. Not because you were not good to your children. You were good to them. But they took it what? For granted. That's, that's our father. He must do it. That is our mother. Those who will remember you, who will mention you, who will say, hey, this man, this woman, oh... She helped me. She did this. She did that. She did this. She paid my school fees when I had that semester. This, I'm telling you, they may remember your name on All Souls Day and bring your name to the priest. Let us remember, we are humans. We are not gods. I am not a god. We have only one god <laughs> in heaven. We are all his children. May his name be praised now and forever. Amen.